Hi guys, for this time I would like to introduce you to various uh, styles of uh, French uh, furniture from the 17th and 18th uh, centuries which uh, correspond to uh, a period when uh, French taste and uh, cultural um, influence were uh, central in uh, Europe and these uh, styles of uh, furniture from this uh, period are considered like uh, a peak in uh, decorative arts and in uh, uh, French uh, culture. They cover uh, in particular the reigns of uh, three kings, Louis uh, 14, 15 and uh, 16 and uh, interestingly many uh, pieces of furniture that we use today such as uh, the chest of drawers or uh, the desks with uh, their uh, current design were uh, created invented in this uh, period and uh, if you look around you you should see that many uh, furniture uh, designs that were posterior uh, from the 19th and 20th uh, centuries continue to uh, find uh, their inspiration in this uh, period so uh, let's start with uh, the style known as uh, the Louis XIV or uh, the Sun King uh, style which uh, was uh, defined and dominated royal uh, furniture in the second half of the 17th uh, century this was a time when uh, politically uh, France was uh, rising to proeminence uh, in Europe after it had been uh, a bit marginalized by uh, the religion wars in uh, the previous century and uh, internally uh, one of the main uh, goals of uh, the Sun King was to uh, reinforce the centralization of his power to uh, reaffirm it for uh, internal as well as external uh, reasons and uh, in order to uh, reach that goal he um, created or uh, ordered the construction of uh, spectacular monuments the most famous one being uh, the castle or the palace of uh, Versailles and furniture uh, has uh, uh, other uh, signs of uh, wealth and power had to reflect uh, the power and uh, glory of the king at this time uh, styles and taste in Europe were uh, strongly influenced by uh, Italian uh, styles and also by a taste for uh, antiquity and these are uh, two very important influence uh, in the design of uh, Louis XIV uh, furniture which uh, is uh, particularly uh, massive uh, because these uh, pieces of furniture had to uh, show to show off uh, the power of the king and um, they were uh, dominated by uh, symmetry by uh, a quite uh, heavy use of bronze and in particular uh, gilded uh, bronze um, and the uh, motives for uh, their decoration wa were particularly uh, refined in particular 
with the use of uh, marquetry and one uh, very big uh, invention of the time that remains as a distinctive mark of this uh, Louis XIV uh, furniture is the use of uh, tortoise uh, to uh, make marquetry and in particular in the work of uh, the most famous ebenist of this period called Bull and still today uh, many of these pieces can be uh, seen at the palace of uh, Versailles the decoration uh, of the furniture was also made to uh, reflect uh, the power of the king or to um, show his uh, symbols and in particular you have uh, large faces that are uh, made of bronze and generally uh, pasted on the side um, of these uh, pieces you have uh, lion legs uh, made of bronze and uh, generally a very uh, monumental uh, kind of uh, aesthetics uh, in these uh, pieces the main creation or invention uh, in this period is the commode the chest of drawers which uh, today is a very uh, standard uh, kind of furniture but which uh, did not really uh, exist uh, before people used to keep uh, things uh, close uh, in particular in uh, chests uh, before uh, this period but because it was uh, both convenient and uh, more elegant these uh, commodes uh, started to spread and would uh, remain uh, one of the type of furniture that would be uh, the most uh, worked and uh, sought after in the following uh, century as you are uh, going to see uh, the evolution in style is often uh, a reaction uh, to the previous uh, dominant style and this is uh, typically the case with the Louis XV uh, style which actually uh, started uh, before uh, the end of the reign of uh, Louis XIV uh, um, Louis XIV uh, uh, reigned until 1715 uh, but uh, the style of furniture uh, started to evolve uh, long before that, in the last years uh, of the previous uh, century and uh, appeared at this moment like a transition style that is called uh, Regency, Regence in French which mixes uh, elements of uh, the Louis XIV uh, style with uh, the Louis XV, XV um, style that would uh, progressively uh, replace it this corresponds to uh, a period when uh, France is uh, getting out of uh, a series of very uh, bloody wars um, in order to uh, check the uh, influence of France uh, there has been various coalitions of uh, foreign uh, powers and several wars that uh, actually uh, occupied most of the reign of uh, the Sun King and um, when he uh, dies after the very bloody war of succession of Spain uh, the uh, mood uh, in uh, France and especially in uh, Paris was to look for uh, more uh, fantasy, for uh, lighter uh, things and in terms of the arts and decorative arts uh, in particular 
to look for something more uh, elegant and less massive than uh, the uh, creations of the previous style. This corresponds also to a moment when uh, the progress, uh, the technical uh, progress, when it came to uh, ebenistry and uh, the uh, making of uh, furniture, allowed to make uh, much lighter uh, structures and uh, liberate uh, furniture from the heavy uh, wood structure that they had uh, in the previous century. And the evolution of this uh, style, which corresponds to uh, the period in European arts called uh, Rococo, uh, which is uh, a very uh, uh, excessive and uh, highly decorated form of uh, Baroque uh, would cover the first half of the uh, 18th uh, century and would be known as the Louis uh, XV uh, style. This style is uh, much uh, lighter with uh, curves that uh, started to uh, appear and make it look much more uh, elegant and uh, less uh, showy or uh, ostentatious um, than uh, furniture from uh, the previous uh, period. The uh, evolution of style uh, also reflected the uh, evolution in uh, lifestyles. This is a uh, a period when uh, people uh, like to uh, regularly modify the uh, disposition of their uh, furniture and uh, some uh, new uh, pieces uh, like the uh, chairs uh, what is called uh, the cabriole that were uh, lighter and uh, easy to move would make their uh, appearance. It might uh, look uh, and sound a bit weird uh, to us today, but uh, in this time the uh, right to uh, make uh, furniture was extremely highly uh, reglemented. There were guilds and inheritance from uh, the past uh, centuries, um, which uh, were uh, associations of uh, artisans and uh, furniture makers and in order to uh, have the right to uh, produce and sell uh, furniture especially all these uh, luxury uh, pieces you needed to belong uh, to these guilds otherwise uh, you were uh, an, an outlaw and you could be uh, sentenced to uh, jail, if not worse. And there were in particular uh, two corporations, two guilds, when it came to uh, furniture and uh, interior uh, decoration. The menuisier, uh, people who were uh, specialized in uh, making all the parts that were not moving uh, in the furniture, like uh, the veneer uh, of the walls, like uh, the consoles that were also part of the uh, interior uh, decoration, and the uh, ebenists who were uh, in charge of uh, other types of pieces, the ones that uh, included uh, marquetry, uh, veneer, and uh, were uh, generally particularly uh, refined. As uh, France lived in a period of uh, relative uh, prosperity, the uh, quantity of uh, furniture uh, produced is uh, much more uh, important than for uh, the Louis XIV uh, style. and. Uh, Still today, it is not this uh, difficult to find uh, pieces of this time, 
that uh, for many of them are still in uh, relatively good shape and if you look at uh, the design of the legs of the uh, arms the general uh, curvy shapes that uh, you see uh, in these uh, pieces of furniture you will probably uh, see how much they have uh, influenced the uh, traditional production of uh, chairs of uh, desks and uh, still today even though uh, they are uh, modern copies uh, this is a style that is quite popular in uh, hotels uh, fancy restaurants and uh, antique uh, shops uh, many uh, furniture makers especially in the 19th uh, centuries would continue to produce uh, furniture of the same style sometimes uh, perfect copies um, of the uh, original models and if one day uh, you uh, are faced with uh, one of these pieces I give you uh, a little tip uh, to uh, quickly uh, determine whether they are uh, from uh, the uh, epoch or uh, if they are just copies that were made uh, at a later stage the tip is to uh, touch the hidden parts of the furniture because in this time uh, even for uh, royal furniture the uh, parts of the, the pieces that were not visible were uh, considered uh, totally uh, unimportant and uh, um, objects of very high uh, luxury had uh, hidden parts that were uh, very uh, gross and uh, without any uh, decoration and another thing to know is that uh, the mechanical sew for uh, wood was invented uh, only at the beginning of the 19th uh, century generally uh, using the power of mills water mills most of the time to uh, sew uh, the wood everything that was made before in the uh, 18th uh, century was uh, sewed uh, manually so that uh, these uh, surfaces uh, should not be uh, smooth and uh, regular if they are it means that uh, the piece you are looking at uh, was produced after uh, the beginning of the 19th uh, century and cannot be uh, as old as maybe uh, the seller is uh, pretending but uh, returning to uh, our uh, story um, this uh, Louis uh, XV uh, style of furniture which as you understand was uh, uh, corresponding to a period of uh, fantasy and uh, taste for uh, fun was also uh, one that evolved uh, relatively uh, quickly because of the uh, appetite for change and uh, fashion there has been uh, several fashions such as uh, one called uh, the chinoiserie which was uh, a trendy uh, kind of fashion in the 1740s uh, to uh, cover uh, the uh, uh, furniture with uh, Asian, Chinese uh, mainly, lakes uh, representing uh, traditional scenes of, uh, of uh, China. Another sign of this uh, taste for uh, exotism and change is uh, the furniture covered with uh, porcelain. There has been uh, such a fashion during uh, a few years 
or uh, other types of uh, exotic scenes like with uh, monkeys uh, that also had their uh, hour of uh, glory like for uh, the uh, Louis XIV uh, style this Louis XV style uh, was uh, subject to uh, another reaction and because it was becoming very uh, heavy in terms of decoration and abundance of details this reaction was uh, mainly willing to return to something uh, simpler with uh, clearer uh, lines and this corresponds historically to a moment when uh, many uh, discoveries were made about the uh, antiquity and especially one that would be uh, crucial for the evolution of taste the discovery of the city of Pompeii in uh, Italy near uh, Naples I think I will uh, record uh, something about this uh, history of Pompeii because this is uh, just uh, fascinating uh, as a story but what it uh, implies for uh, decorative arts uh, is that original uh, genuine antique uh, pieces uh, paintings uh, architecture were uh, discovered very well preserved and were highly uh, influential in uh, European art uh, in the second half of the uh, 18th uh, century there was uh, an appetite for uh, the imitation of the antiquity what has been called uh, the neoclassical uh, style and when it comes to furniture uh, this neoclassical style uh, corresponds to uh, Louis XVI and uh, flourished uh, in the years, uh, in the decades before uh, the French uh, Revolution. This style is uh, much uh, simpler, at least in terms of uh, lines, but uh, as we are talking about royal uh, furniture it remains uh, extremely uh, refined and uh, together with the Louis XV uh, style this is the second uh, the other type of furniture that made uh, the best hours of uh, French taste when it comes to um, furniture uh, making maybe even more today uh, than the Louis XV style this uh, style because of its uh, simplicity has uh, gone through the centuries and uh, has remained uh, more fashionable and still today uh, it depends a lot on where you live but if you look around you um, in the design of uh, tables, uh, chairs um, various uh, types of uh, uh, furniture such as uh, chests of drawers uh, too or uh, the paneling of uh, walls uh, this is uh, a style whose uh, influence uh, can still be uh, seen I think this is uh, going to be all uh, for today because uh, there would be much more to tell about what happened in the 19th uh, century from uh, the French Revolution to uh, almost uh, the Second World War so uh, let me know if you uh, like the uh, topic and uh, if so I will uh, make another video uh, about the 19th century um, and uh, what happened next so thank you for your attention and uh, bye bye my friends